Welcome, welcome. Hope you guys are well. Okay, I get asked these questions a lot um, on how to make Sarah charts more fluid and flexible. Um, and one of the the easiest platforms to use in the market is TradingView. Typically, everyone first starts off there when they when they first get into trading. So I've managed to configure some settings that allows Sierra to act more like TradingView. So you've got the hand tool where you can, uh, you know, drag right and left and up and down, which is a really cool feature, very similar to TradingView. And in your scroll wheel, um, allows you to expand and squash the chart, very similar. Okay, this is a game changer for me for Sierra, is when you first get it, it's, you know, you use the scroll wheel and it moves very so slightly and it's just a pain in the in the neck. It feels very rigid. Uh, this way allows you to quickly scroll back and see what you're looking for, scroll out. You know, it's just a, a, a game changer for, for what you're looking to do. Okay. So we'll run through what the, the, the main settings are. Your best friend for this is going to be the hand tool. Okay. So we need to adjust the scroll wheel settings. We need to adjust uh, where your hand tool lives, okay, um, and how you can quickly access that, okay. So everything is going to be done here within global settings. So first off, you go to global settings, general settings. We're going to take care of the scroll wheel. When you're in general settings, go to the second tab that says GUI, okay. You need to enable workspace scrolling, make sure that's set to yes. Your scroll wheel list, okay, change this to the bottom one. Scroll wheel changes spacing with shift scrolls vertical scale, okay, select that. Um, and that is all you're going to have to do for this specific setting. This is going to take care of your scroll wheel, okay. So once that's done, uh, apply all and okay. Uh, and then you should be able to start scrolling and have it, you know, squash the charts, okay. Um, the next thing is you need to take care of is the hand tool. So to do so, go to global settings, tool settings. Okay. Um, after single tool use change to, basically if you go and draw a line or a horizontal a trend line or any other tool, you want to default back to the hand so you can simply grab around the chart. So change after single tool use, change that to hand. Okay. Um, the next setting you're going to have to do is right click exit current drawing to, to, to default to the hand. So when you're done drawing a trend line, you want to just right click your mouse, it will default back to hand. Okay, so set that to hand. Um, and this is important where it support vertical scaling movement with hand tool. Okay, so this is allowing you to take the hand tool and go up and down. If you don't have this set, uh, if you have this set to no, then you're just going to go be able to go left and right, okay, which is not what we want, okay. So once you've sorted out these settings, um, then just click apply all and OK. Uh, there's no other main settings in here, but you can go down and adjust these as we see if you see fit. But this is mainly the the settings to adjust for the hand tool. Okay, now you need to effectively add the hand tool as an easy location. So um, I'll show you how to go into your chart shortcut. And I'd advise the, the tools that you use a lot to add them in here. You can pretty much add anything you want in these settings. Okay, um, you know, chart calculator is a great one where, you know, it simply tells you um, you know, a price range from there. Then when you right click, um, it then takes you back to the hand tool. Okay, so to get bring up these settings, you need to go to global settings and then it's a customize chart shortcut menu. I've already got all these uh, added, so they won't be on this list. But you need to go down this list, right, and find the hand tool. Once you've found it, click on add, uh, rearrange it how you would like. Um, and I would advise you to add in chart value cross here if that's not already there. Okay. Um, 
once you've added what you would like and the most frequent tools you use just click OK um, and then now you should have the settings where if you scroll your scroll wheel on your mouse it you know squashes the charts and expands from there and then the hand tool should be going up and down and left and right so it's nice and easy for you to use this was a made a big difference for me when i did this for sierra it just allowed me to chart easier and use the platform because when you first get it your charts almost locked and you can't really do too much you know um so if you guys are getting any other questions about you know how to tips and tricks and how to make Sierra a little bit easier to use because it's quite a, a steep learning curve to 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 use this very very powerful platform but hard to use right um so leave some comments below let me know what your thoughts are and i'll see you guys in the next video peace